Hey guys, this is Leo from Generates Press and Generates Blocks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make sticky social icon buttons like these using a block element, Generates Blocks with a little bit of CSS. Let's get started. We will start by adding a new block element. Give it a name. Element type will be hook and we will use the after header hook. Choose our display rule to be the entire site. As always, we'll start by adding a container block. We will use contained width and set the width to something like 48 pixels. Then go to spacing and remove the default paddings. We will also set the Z index to 99 so it goes above all your content. Then head to advanced and add two CSS classes. The first one is sticky social icons, which we will use later in our CSS. The second one is hide on mobile. This is a built-in GP class, which will hide this element on mobile. If you have Generates Blocks Pro, you can just turn on the toggle instead of using the class. Inside the container, we will add a buttons block. Let's go to icon first and select a social icon. We will remove the text. Now let's go to spacing and set all the paddings to 15 pixels. We will also add one pixel of bottom border. Then you can select the colors to match your site. Once you're happy with the button, we can simply duplicate it. and then change the icon. Now we can actually remove the border bottom from the last icon, because it's not needed. It's used as a separator you see here. And as a good practice, I like to go to the buttons wrapper and select stack vertically, even though they already are, and fill horizontal space. Let's publish the element and take a quick look. Now let's go to customize, additional CSS, and add in the CSS here, which I will provide in the description below. So this is setting this element to position fixed, and you can adjust the position here. Click publish, and that's it. If you have Generates Blocks Pro, you can also add some box shadow effect to the container. Go to effects, box shadow. We will increase the offsets and make 
make it a little bit darker. Update. And you can see the box shadow here. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.